Well, this is a receiver, an SX-140, that goes with a HT-40 transmitter, and I have made a video of the transmitter working perfectly, and this is the receiver um, that goes along with it, and a Helicrafter's speaker. And so you're listening to uh, Ham on AM. So, so, so this FI, the, the guy you're listening to is from uh, Greenwich, Connecticut. Um, he is a, he's N1BCG, a very famous and well-known ham from that area. Um, so, so um, I'm going to tune across, uh, you can see that it works on 80 meters. Um, so uh, I'm going to tune across on 40 meters and we'll see how uh, that works. I'll put it on the sideband portion. Um, without a product detector, I have trouble tuning in sideband. It's uh, my inability, but I'm going to go to 40 meters. Let's go to the CW section. Uh, one of the things after reading the manual, which I probably should have done in the first place, is I found out this selectivity in BFO is actually a regenerative type thing. And um, I thought uh, I was having problems uh, setting it up. But as it turns out, if I turn this, it, 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 it varies um, in its regeneration. See if I put it there. It, you see there it's, uh, it doesn't have a BFO, and there it does. And that I did not understand. <laughs> I did not understand when I read the, uh, when I tried to use it uh, earlier. Now this side, Ben. And you're going to see how much trouble I have tuning in sideband. Yeah, I think I'm... Okay. Yeah, if you're without a product detector, you have to adjust the RF gain uh, to get that in. So. So. Okay. Um, so there you can see it does work on sideband. We did already demonstrate it worked on an AM. It's just very difficult to, for me to figure out how to adjust it on sideband. Um, so now I'm going to go up to, what's the other band? What's, oh, QSO Party. I wonder if they have beer and soda and popcorn. Isn't that what you usually have at a party? Any station, anywhere. Okay. That's impressive. All right, let's go to 20 meters. Okay, this is um, the ICOM, no, it's not an ICOM, it's a Holocraft is SX-140. In the following uh, video after this, you're going to see that the some of the switches uh, made some noise and they needed to be cleaned. Well, they were cleaned, and uh, so they, they're clean now. They weren't in the video that follows this. Uh, this makes a little noise, but not very much as it, as it did compared to... Um, the video you're going to see. But everything else is, you know, this is clean now, it's not making any noise, and so, so is the audio. Uh, so everything is now, the contacts have now been cleaned. So I wanted to kind of prepare you uh, for what the video is that's, that's uh, coming up. Oh, I have a lot of noise here. All right, so we can see it work, <coughs> works on 20 meters. I wonder if the Pennsylvania QSO party is there, too. 
I think I have to tune on the other side of the sideband, but I did get one person in. Okay, talk. I'm looking for someone to talk so I can tune them in. You can see him. Oh, I got him tuned in, I think. Yeah, I did get him tuned in. Yeah, that guy is on all the time, S, S51DX. He's on all the time. I've worked on him about 3,040 times. Let's tune the... I think the calibration could be adjusted. Oh, that can be adjusted over here. Calibration reset. That's, that sounds like ready. Oh yeah, you can adjust that. Let's see if I can find the CW section. There's some CW. That's Morse code or Morris code if you have a cat. So I need I didn't adjust the calibration, so I need to adjust that with the calibration. So Okay, so I'm gonna try fifteen meters, but I don't think I'm gonna get anything on fifteen meters. There's a station in uh, K9 area. I never, I hate working K9s. They're so common. I don't hear anybody calling CQKN though. Okay. All uh, right. We'll try 15 meters. See if there's anything. Okay. Here is uh, 15 meters. And uh, I must have had a loose connection. But that is 15 meters, and it uh, looks like it's okay. And so it's working on 15 meters. Uh, I dare not check. Well, I'll check 10 meters, and we'll see. We'll see if that works. Uh, let's see. 10 meters. On 15, I doubt it.